Hello there! This is DBT, and these are the rooms. And alright, let's continue playing and talking about Asphalt Dates. And that is because today we're gonna be covering a few topics. Um, we're gonna be having a look at the new car hunt that just begun, which is for this car you can see over here, but we're gonna look at the details. Also, we're gonna talk about a situation that happened with the gauntlet stored over the weekend, or rather at the start of this week, which is very, very obnoxious. And of course, the main topic for today is going to be looking at the new time limited events with those fantastic rewards because man, that looks pretty dope. But alright, if you enjoy my content, you know what to do, hit the like button on this video and make sure to be subscribed to my channel because remember that I post daily. While it's not Asphalt Day daily, there's always something to watch and at the end of the day, there's still a ton of Asphalt being posted here, so there you go. But alright, Car Hunt. Uh, like I said, it's for this car that you can see right now, the Ferrari FXXK, which is a car of the rank of 1861 when proed out. Man, it's one of the few Ferraris that I really, really, really like the way that it looks. It's fantastic looking, such a beautiful racing car. And the vrooming noises that thing, this thing makes are absolutely insane. It's, it's a really cool looking, cool sounding, and on top of that, cool performing, I suppose. Good performing car. So yes, that is the main car for the current car hunt. Now, of course, being a car hunt, it means that in order to acquire the car, which should be showing over here, but it doesn't because I already own it, um, you need to pay the $10 premium price. As usual, I'm not trying to to convince a, to any. I'm not trying to convince anybody to spend money on the game. I'm just providing you with this information in case you're interested. $10 and you can acquire that car along with a bunch of parts. But on the free lane, there's a car that I'm interested on, and that is a Vanda Electric Dendo, Dendrobium. Jesus Christ, what a name! Um, now this is a car that actually was on sale or being sold rather a, like a month ago before this patch dropped. Um, and it was for like two dollars and I was actually thinking that this patch was going to be about electric cars because they were selling this electric then there was something about the racer tacking which was also electric so I was thinking maybe it was going to go that way that was not the case but whatever so yeah this car is being um, it's available for free and that is by reaching tier 14 a car of a maximum rank of 1501 is it a good or a bad car I have no idea but I'm definitely interested on in getting it so yes um, and then you know the rest a bunch of parts on the free lane parts and kits and then eventually wildcards on the premium lane. So, like I said, the car, I know that it's a fantastic one. Now, if you want to see me making a pro test of this video, you know, testing it in multiplayer, let me know in the comments if you want to watch that. Because that gives me an idea if you're really interested or should I just skip it. Um, but yeah, that is basically the car hunt. Now, the other topic that I wanted to talk about is the gauntlet situation. You know that last week Gameloft announced that they're going to be closing the gauntlet store and they were so kind, notice the sarcasm, in letting us know with 10 days of anticipation. Now, why do I say that this is a bad situation? In that other video that I recorded, I was actually not pessimistic about it. I said like, well, you know, these cars are being removed from here, but maybe they're going to make them available more often through sales for tokens. And now that tokens are, are free to play, then yeah, maybe there's a good way. Because remember, this currency can be very difficult to acquire the gauntlet badges. If you don't have a good team on gauntlet or if you have a medium team and you get medium results, then you're going to have to grind it for an extremely long amount of time. You're going to have an easier time and have to wait less time uh, by grinding for tokens. But anyway, so the problem now is that this week they removed the car from the gauntlet store. And by that, I mean, normally they sell you on top of all of this stuff. They sell you a car um, for the different prices, right? No, I think it's always like 8,000, something like that. Um, eight or nine thousand, so whatever. The point is that there's always a car over here offered, but not this time. This time there's no car, and that is such a move by Game Loft because they told us with only ten days of anticipation, like, hey, this is going away, so make a, make the most of it while you can. And they're like, okay, we have ten days. Let's see what what else happens. And then what does Game Loft do after a few days? Oh yeah, you can no longer buy the the main thing that people would be interested in buying in the Gauntlet Store, which is a car. That is. Like I said, a very, very much a move by Gameloft. Um, I don't understand why they did this. Some people in the comments on that other video were asking me like, hey, should I get the Shiron 110 ANS uh, on the store? Or should I wait for the next one? And I did tell everybody that maybe they should just buy the card that was available right then. Because who knows if next week maybe... I mean, I w honestly, I wasn't expecting for them to remove the card, but I was still like, you know, just make the most out of it while you can. Who knows what Game of this is going to do? So uh, if you don't own the car, might as well get it before your currency gets wasted. Well, turns out that that was fantastic advice because indeed, they just straight up removed the cars. And now there's no way, for example, for me to, to spend my 11,000. Now, granted, my case is special because I, don't, I tend to save a lot of the currencies, as you can see, 
um, to always have a bit of a cushion in case something interesting happens. In this case, it's coming back to bite me in the butt because, well, um, this is going to go to waste. But honestly, even if they still had the car here, it would still go to waste because I, I already own all of the cars from the Gauntlet store. And that is because I've acquired it in a variety of method, oh, methods through the last couple of years. So, in, in the end, this doesn't affect me directly, but I can see how it's so annoying for people that have been grinding for this currency, which is, by the way, very difficult to get. Um, people that have been grinding for this currency, saving for a car, and then game love just suddenly, out of nowhere, not only do, do they tell us, like, hey, the gauntlet store is closing, so make the most out of it, then right after that, they also remove the car, the next car that was supposed to show in, in the gauntlet store. I just think that was such a bad move, such a move by by the company i i really think that was a horrible horrible move for the players towards the play uh, another thing that was kind of funny is that it only how long has this store been open like i don't know how long it's been a very long time uh a year easily it took them a year to finally add more than one single part in here because for the longest time you could only buy one part in here it's like are you kidding me how, what this i i mentioned it on the previous video this store was useless in all sorts of ways except for the car and now well finally they added more parts just so that you can waste your your coins in buying parts but honestly i don't care about that and another thing that i noticed is that they nerfed this um this used to be for 10 it would give you 10 uh 1000 fusion coins if i don't remember if i'm not misremembering but i'm pretty sure i'm correct now it's 500 why reasons seriously game love what the f is this Man, like I said, I always try to look at things in the most positive way. And from time to time, I do get, I, I end up finding myself being correct. And then from time to time like this, it's just completely the opposite. And it feels such a, such a kick in the, you know what I mean? Oh man. Yeah. Can you tell that I'm bothered by this? And even though this doesn't affect me, but just seeing what Gimlop just did with this whole thing, man, it bothers me, but whatever. Let's leave that aside before I get more angry. Um, so if you miss your chance to buy a car, I'm sorry to hear that. That's why I always say, do and get what you can while you can, because you never know when Gameloft is going to change their mind and they're going to remove something. So there you go. Um, all right, events. Now I'm going to look at the Rampfire Cup. Let's go, baby. So the, in this cup uh, is for the content creator Rampfire. And man, the rewards are so good. Uh, if you beat his time, you'll be able, you're gonna be able to get the rooster um, Chinese year outfit, which honestly I'm not super interested on. But hey, it's cool that it's there. But also in the regular rewards, five direct upgrades of class D, ten for class C, ten for B, ten for A, and if you manage to hit five percent, ten more for classes. These rewards are absolutely bonkers good. They're fantastic. And the track to do is Barcelona Reverse. As you can see, I haven't done a single race. And over here, we're gonna test my luck. Test my skill, suppose, I suppose, but really my luck. See how, how good or bad am I driving today. So let me activate some boosters and let's see what I can do. Now, as you notice, the race is with the Aventador Super Veloce. So let's see what we can do with this absolute beauty. Um, I've never been fantastic at any track, really. This track in particular, I always go on the lower route, which I understand is not the best route, but I still want to see where it lands me. Because um, this is the route that, that I'm the most used to. So I want to see what a regular run with my my standard route is going to put me, and maybe eventually I will try a better route. Like, it wasn't the case with the Formula E gen. Eventually, people showed me, like, oh, there's a better route, and this is how you do it. And I did practice that other route, and eventually I was able to get to the rewards. If you haven't watched the video, check out my videos that I did on the Formula E gen event. Link should be appearing about now on the top right, but maybe I'll forget, so maybe if it's not there, still check them out. Um, but yeah, so eventually I was able to get into the, the, the main rewards over there by practicing. Will I practice this one a lot in order to get the best rewards? I honestly don't believe so. I'm just gonna play and see what I can get and, you know, just, just live with it. Because like I said, I'm not particularly interested on the, on the suit, the, um, the rooster suit. 52, 650. Okay, so that was my first attempt. So where does that land me? I know that doesn't give me the main reward, the suit, but I'm curious in what percentage it put me. I'm gonna say probably 7%. I'm gonna say that's 7%. Where am I? 5%, all right. Well, this is still not guaranteed by any means because as I mentioned in that other video, there's always a possibility that people are gonna continue play playing this and more people are gonna beat my time and they're gonna push me out of 5% into maybe 6% and whatnot. But I'll say that this is a good reward. 
Now, I mean, a good result for now. So let me try a second time. Let's see if I can improve by any means um, with my current route, with the route that I know. And like I said, eventually I'll look into better routes. I know that the, the meta route or the best route, simply put, it's the one in the at, in the top that you need to go at, at, at the top. But like I said, I'm not super familiar with that route. So I don't know. That's going to require a whole lot of practice. I might try it within, inside this video, but you know. I'm still probably not going to get a great result because if it's a route, route that I'm unfamiliar with, then it's very likely that I'm going to get a terrible result. But hey, you know, practice, I guess now. Oh, no, that was way too wide. Way too wide. I tried to do a micro drift and I failed. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I might I might eventually practice it a little bit. I mean, like I said, I'm not particular. Oh, Jesus, I run out of nitro. That's bad. Um, I'm not particularly interested on the rooster suits, but, you know, might as well, right? And in case you didn't notice, if you haven't seen it, there's currently... They're, they're selling the the suits. No, this was a worse time, I think. Um, they're, they're selling several of the year of the something suits. Uh, for like, what is it, $20 or something? Yeah, that was a worse time. Oh, boy. All right. So, let me, let me try the upper route. Again, I'm not very familiar with it, so I don't think I'm going to get a, a better time by any means. But hey, I, I suppose the only way to 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 get good at that route is by actually practicing it. Which is what I say always that I find so funny about people hating the... Um, so what, do I do this and then take the other jump? Or is this a, is this a bad idea? No, I'm not sure. Hold on, hold on. Where am I going? Where am I going? Here? Oh, man, I, I don't think I was supposed to fall there. Oh, well. Um, what was I saying? I already forgot. Ah, damn it, DBT. You and your memory. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this is gonna be a better lap. I think I wasn't supposed to fall down where after uh, where I fell. I don't know. I'm not gonna try to explain it right now because I can't. But yeah, where I said that I fell, I think I wasn't supposed to fall down. So there's that. My time is actually worse again this is more like around the 800 milliseconds isn't it yeah almost 800 yeah no i'm doing worse and worse oh boy um well you know like i said it's just a matter of practicing learning that route because again i really never do it not in multiplayer not in tle's nowhere and honestly that has to do just mainly with me being too comfortable with the lower routes no get out of the way oh you mother lover Again, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take this barrel roll or not. I'm taking it, but... Ah, I did it again! Even worse this time, huh? Well done, DBT, well done. Yeah, because I think I'm supposed to just not fall down on, on, on that lower section on the tunnel until the very end of the tunnel. Well, not the very end of the tunnel. I think you know what I mean, right? No? Okay, fine, whatever. Um, so yeah, I might, I might try a little bit, you know, try to improve this a tiny bit, but honestly, I was so much more interested, and look, okay, 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 I don't, I want, I don't, this is not at all anything against this particular TLE, uh, love the fact that the rewards are so good, but I'm just not particularly interested on the, on the suit, and the rewards are great, and they're gonna help a ton of people, but I'm not, like, super dying to get them, man, I'm doing worse and worse and worse, Jesus Christ. How much fuel do I have left? Probably not a lot. Um, I was more interested in the Formula E Gen 2 because that is a car that I've been wanting to get for a very long time and finally it's available. So that's why I grinded for it and practiced a lot. But also, I asked you earlier to let me know if you want to see the... the uh, a protest of the Ferrari FX8. Let me know in a different comment, not in the same one. Remember, more comments, more better. <laughs> um, let me know if you want me to keep practicing this. And maybe showing you later what were my results. Like, where, was I able to improve this at all? I don't know. Maybe you're interested in seeing this. I know a couple of people want to, but I need to see more interest than two people to know if you guys want to see more of this type of, of content on me grinding these events and hopefully improving. Because, well, I suppose that in a way this is also another type of content that is not very often seen in YouTube regarding, you know, the... the the battle of the skill issue and trying to improve so i don't know maybe that's interesting to watch who knows or maybe you just love laughing at dbt for doing terrible laps that's possible 
152. I think this was about the same as my best previous attempt. So, yeah, but I'm still far away from... I'm like, what, 200 milliseconds or something away from... Um, from reaching the, the outfit. I have... I have one more race, maybe two, depending on if the fuel refills. If the fuel refills fast enough. Fuel refills fast enough. Alright, so <clears throat> I'm gonna shut up now, see if I can focus. I keep hitting that thing. I'm oh man. So I'm trying to do a micro drift. To enter the, the section that you saw that I'm trying to enter. But, okay, this is worse. Way worse. So, who cares? This is going to meme around a little bit. Um, but I do it too early and I end up hitting the, the, the divider, the container thing, the whatever it's called. And that bounces me and that's not great. So, I guess that is one of the parts that I definitely need to, to, to refine in terms of just learning when is the moment to, to start the, the drift over there. Because, man... That, that was kind of sad. I felt like I had a chance there. And then the chance went away. This this was a meme run halfway through, so this result doesn't matter. Do I still have fuel for one last race? Do I? Do I? Uh, okay. Just I'll just wait it, I guess. One eternity later. All right, here we go. Now, oh, my boosters are about to run out too. So, All right, this is it, guys. This is. This is a make it or break it run, so let's see if DBT can focus and do something good or terrible. Probably terrible. Let's see. Oh no, they got on the way. That's already bad. Yeah, I think I went too high with the jump. Well, at least this time I did it a little bit. Oh good. A little bit better. I wonder if I can just do that turn without trying to drift it. I guess I gotta practice that too. At least this time I didn't run out of Nitro before getting here, so that's that's okay. Yeah, it's just gonna be a matter of practicing this quite a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe with enough luck, I'll be able to... Oh yeah, I think I proved by like 100 milliseconds or so. I think it was a little bit of 500s. Yes, 500s. All right, there we go. I've made it into the 500s. Now, again, that's still... No, wait a second. Wasn't my best result 400s? No. No, no, no. It was 600, right? I think so. All right. So, yeah, I think I improved that a little bit over the course of this video, but not enough to get the main reward because DVT has a skill issues. I know. It's fine. But, yeah. Again, let me know in the comments if you want to get an update to this, if I, if I should continue practicing it. And, you know, maybe, maybe someday I'll get to the main reward. I don't know. We'll have to see. But all right, hit the like button, all of that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.